So that, that sort of would be a rough procedure. Do you leave it on? Um, it, would be, it would be better not to leave it on if you're going to go back to playing software because what happens is that as you increase the, um, the pitch of the iron, it gets harder to push the plane through the wood. So putting it back down, you have permanently effect, increased the effective pitch of the plane. Down. So it's going to be, you'll find that plane harder to push through the wood, whatever it is you're playing. So that's, that's the trade-off. Higher pitch is better for, for it will create a smoother cut in harder woods, but it will be harder to push through the wood. That's one of the nice things about a regular angle block plane. It's bedded at uh, 20 degrees. That lower angle makes it easier to push through the wood, so it's a convenient little plane for many different planing operations. And it's, it's relatively easy to push through the wood, but it's low angle, even though it's not, I'm not talking about the low angle block plane. It's lower angle allows you also to do some end grain pairing and it's just a good general purpose plane. I don't see the two block planes that you, you guys have are both low angle, I don't think. Um, well, I guess this is a regular angle block plane right here. see the difference in the bed angle. And the degrees would be, this is a, this would be 10? Ah, it's 12 from the, from the sole up to the underside of the blade angle. Mm -hmm. And then you have the bevel angle as well. And with the block plane, it's bevel up. So you would add the effective angle, which is the angle of the cutting, surface to the wood would be the bed angle plus the bed angle. Whereas with a bench plane, it's the opposite. The effective angle is the pitch minus the
went shopping this morning at the local clam store. <laughs> Starting to get some, some shavings. But again, it's still nice and easy. This is, that is a nice thickness of shaving. You can see where the mountains uh, don't exist yet. You can see where the valleys are, little holes in the shavings. Mm -hmm. uh, what, a, what a pleasant experience. And, and look what it's doing to the wood. You know, just beautiful. This is an old junky piece of pine sitting out in the shop. Had some uh, powder post beetle damage in it, so we couldn't really use it as a timber. But it has just beautiful color underneath. I just, right, I just opened it up a little bit because I was getting impatient. So, it's cutting pretty well. What do you think? It, it's beautiful, yeah, I mean, it is, it's just amazing. Yeah. No matter how many times I do it. Yeah. Um, the results you can get from the plane. I'm going to try this. It's very intuitive. You know, I had no, no instruction at all, and yet I do the same things that you do, except that you do them much better. <laughs> you know, it's... Thank you, you know, honey. It is intuitive. Yeah, everything I agree. you do is obviously the right thing to do, the way it feels. Yes, that's, that's what it is. Yep. I don't like that coffee there. I didn't want you to get shavings in it. So, it's a good example actually. The block plane is, I mean, the bench plane is just so much more comfortable to use um, for, for most operations. Trouble is, it's a little bit big. So, something like this, you know, I can carry in my nail pouch during the day and whatever. Whenever we're doing siding, shingles, it's very handy to carry that pouch because inevitably you'll have, you know, you need to trim a shingle. To fit, or you're weaving cores. <clears throat> the stroke is a little bit tight here, so every once in a while it gets clogged. Anyone want to try? Yeah, I'll try.